So, ngayon, ang i-discuss natin is yung ating module 2 is more on financial statement relationship. So, let's start with um, income statement. So, alam nyo naman, di ba, when you see income statement, hindi yung real account. So, meaning to say, at the end of the year, mawawala yung account na yan. And, this is called nominal account. Okay? So, they are divided into two. First one is, we have the revenue and we have the expenses. Kung, na, kung narinig nyo yung Alcre rule na tinatawag, and this is already discussed to you during your first year, accounting one and two, okay? Yung RME, which is the revenue and expenses, are bought nominal account. Ibig sabihin, at the end of the year, magsisiro out sila kasi idadagdag sila sa part ng balance sheet. So, alam niyo na siguro yan. But then again, ulitin natin para at least malinaw para sa inyo. Okay. Ang revenue are divided into three. So, iba-iba yung category niya. Depende sa klase ng business. Okay. Let's start if yung business ko ay a merchandising business. Example, magpipinta ako ng t-shirt. Yan. So, for example, yung pagkain, ang tawag doon is merchandising. Okay? Bibilin ko na siya and then ibibenta ko siya. So, it's a merchandising business. Okay? And if it is a merchandising business, ang tawag sa revenue mo ay sales. Get? Okay? And then, if yung business mo is a service business, for example, meron akong pawn shop, kinakain ba yun? Hindi. So, this is service. Meron akong um, pagupitan or spa business. Okay? Service yun. So, ang tawag doon sa mga ganong klaseng business is a service income or a service revenue. Okay? So, meron ang word na service. Service income. Okay? So, yun ang magiging kategory niya. Okay? But, if yung, if ang business natin is a corporation, malaki siya. Okay? A manufacturing company, incorporated, corporation, ABC Corporation. Okay. So, malaking business siya, di ba? Okay. Ang tawag sa kita niya is revenue. So, they are three again. We can call it a sales. If the business is a merchandising, we can call it as a service income. If the business is a service company, and we call it as revenue if the business is a corporation, a manufacturing company, an incorporated company. Okay? So, ang tawag dun is revenue. Gets? Okay. So, let's start. Paano ba natin siya gagawin? Yung, yung ano natin, presentation ng, ng um, statement of financial performance or yung tinatawag na income statement. Paano natin siya gagawin? Simple lang naman, napakadali lang. First thing, sunat natin sa taas, syempre. It's either uh, sales, okay? Pero, ganito siya. Being a financial analyst, dapat alam natin kung anong klase yung business. Di ba, pwede rin naman siya maging corporation, although ang tinda niya is mga sales, ganyan, or a t-shirt, pero corporation siya. Ang aalamin natin ngayon, kung yung business niya is a uh, partnership, a sole proprietorship, or a corporation. Ganito lang siya kadali. Kung ang business mo ay isang um, sole proprietorship or partnership, no need to compute the tax sa ilalim. Walang i-compute na income tax or yung 30% income tax na tinatawag. Bakit? Kasi po, ang computation niya is just like an individual tax. Di ba yung meron table? Doon tayo mag ng income niya. Meron din tinatawag na SSS contribution, meron tinatawag na PILHAB, pag-ibig contribution, blah, 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 may allowances. Kasi, yung category ng business niya is an individual business. A sole proprietor, ship, and the partnership is an individual business. That's why, ang category ng taxation niya is an individual tax. Yung meron table. Okay. But, Kung ang business is corporation, that's the time na mag-compute tayo ng 30% tax dun sa ilalim. Okay? Start tayo. What if the business is a 
sole proprietorship, or partnership. So let's start with if, kung ang business ay merchandising. We start with the sales minus cost of goods sold or cost of sales is also an operating expense like tama ba? Okay. Sales minus cost of sales is equal to gross profit. Then, ibibidak mo yung, yung operating expenses. Alam mo naman siguro kung ano yun. So, we have yung ating selling expense, administrative expense, etc., etc. Yung mga salary ng tao, communication expense, bayad sa telepono, utilities, bayad sa ilo at tubig, advertisement. So, yun yung mga operating expenses na meron tayo. And then, after nun, ano mangyayari? After getting the gross profit minus the operating expenses, we have now the operating income. So, end na tayo sa operating income. Hindi na tayo mag-turn mag pa ng another competition para sa tax. Kasi ang tax niya is an individual tax. Sa so, iba ng competition na yun. Okay? Same with the, if the business is a service. So, madali yung siya. Service income minus operating expenses is equals to what? Operating income. So, that's the end na agad. But, if the business is a Okay. But, if the business is a corporation, ganito na yung itsura niya. So, we have revenue. So, whether it is sales or what, ang tawag natin sa taas, revenue. We have revenue minus cost of sales is equals to what? Gross profit minus the operating expenses. Then, after that, we have the operating income. Then, we have the income tax. And ang basis ng ating income tax is yung 30% ng operating income. And that's the time that we will get our net income. Service. The business is service, pero ito ay corporation. We start with revenue minus operating expenses is equal to operating income less the 30% tax. Then we have our net income. So, madali lang. So, ano yung logic? Bakit merong, uh, ba't kailangang i-discuss yung um, financial statement when it comes to income statement or the statement of operation? Ang logic dito, ganito. Tayo, as uh, financial analyst, when we compute something, dapat alam mo yung category na, ah, nag-earn ba to? So, may kasama na agad siya sa ilalim nagko-compute ka na ng ratio analysis niya pa unti-unti. Gagamitin tawag na common size, yung ratio dito sa gilid. Okay. Ano ba yung basis nun? Paano natin kinocompute? Ang lagi natin end base, ilalim base. O yung basis natin. O yung magiging denominator natin. When it comes to income or the revenue, is always the revenue. Okay? Yun ang 100%. Yun ang ating base. So, for example, we need to compute the percentage of the operating expenses against the sales. So, the operating expenses over the sales. Lagi siyang may computation. Lagi siyang may paliwanag. Diyan po mapasong strategic management decision making natin. Hindi tayo basta-basta nagko-compute. And, just in case na may nawawala, dapat alam mo. For example, sa exam, Ang given lang is only the net income and the sales. Paano mo siya makocompute yung sa loob? Hanapin mo yung percentage doon, net income. Madali mo na yun makocompute pataas. Okay? Meron naman tayong mga discarte when it comes to computation. Kapag ang given lang is only 3 or 2, kaya natin niya i-compute kasi nga analyst tayo. So, dapat ganun yung analyst yun natin dati. And that's uh on the financial statement presentation on statement of operation. Okay, I'm just hoping na gets nyo yung analogy. Ang analogy lang dito, kung may nawala man, hanapin mo. Hindi yung problem ang magahanap sa'yo. Kasi nga, strategic financial management eh. Analogy is more on decision making. Dapat alam mo yung nawawala. So, dapat kahit tulog ka sa ulado mo kung ano yung meron doon sa numero na yun. O kung ano yung meron doon sa account.